day, I was listening to one of my favorite songs. Perhaps you have a favorite song too. Many of my favorite songs are songs that I heard growing up. My dad would play music on the stereo at home, or my siblings would share music that they liked in the car during road trips. These songs became a part of my life growing up, and now a part of who I am. Mary's song is like that too. It's a bit of a soundtrack to her life, the story of her people. It's part love song, part protest song, partly reflecting her own time, and partly reaching back into her history. But mostly, Mary's song is the song of her people, a song of her family, a song of the promise they received from God. She understands herself to be part of the promise and more. She understands that promise of a savior that has been passed on to her does not end with her, that she both inherits it and passes it along again. Mary sings that God will be mindful and merciful to Israel's descendants forever. That's a promise that stretches way beyond her. She references her ancestors, Sarah and Abraham, the parents of the people Israel. She sings similarly to Hannah, the Hebrew Bible character who gives thanks with many of these same words for the birth of her son in 1 Samuel 2. And Mary's song also lifts language and images from elsewhere in the Bible, like Psalm 113. She begins her song thinking about herself, but by the end she's singing that what's happened to her, this wild news of the angel that surprised pregnancy that will change her life, is not only about her, but about everyone. Through her song, she becomes aware of the love that God has for her and for her people, and is filled with joy that pours from her heart in song. A joyful heart, said Mother Teresa, is the normal result of a heart burning with love. That's what we hear in this part of Mary's song, when she says, he has helped his servant Israel in the remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring, forever. The joy comes from her understanding herself to be a part of a whole people loved by God. She knows that God is faithful to them and that she is a part of how that love will be made known, a part of how God keeps the promise to be with his people. I imagine Mary's heart burning with joy as she sings, joy for her people, Joy for her God, joy for the new life inside her, that joy that builds inside her gives way to song, and the song goes way beyond that moment and lives into the future so that we can sing it still today. Let us share in the joy that Mary has. Let us rejoice always and tell of the goodness and the love of our God. Praise